Hello friends, it's Miss Dom and today we are going to be drawing a penguin. So you'll see on the right are just a few simple drawings of penguins that I found and you'll notice they're not all exactly the same. And so your penguin does not have to look exactly like my penguin, but I thought it would be fun for us to draw together um, and make a penguin. So if you look at these penguins, uh, one of the shapes that I notice is the oval, a round shape. So I'm going to draw an oval shape like this. Now, if you want to keep it super simple, you can just stick with that oval shape. Or if you want it to be so that our penguin has a head and a body, we can make two ovals like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do it two ways. So like I said, yours does not have to look exactly like mine. And you'll notice that I am making adjustments. So you will need uh, an eraser as well as a pencil because your first line might not always be the best line. Okay, so we're just gonna do our best and try to draw a cute cartoon of a penguin. So you need a pencil and you need some paper. And like I said, we're gonna start with a round shape. So it's up to you if you wanna start with two round shapes or one round shape. That's sort of an oval, not doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Now, the other thing that I notice when I'm looking at these penguins is they have a white belly. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a white belly on this one. On this one, I want to leave room for the face. On this other one, I can make that belly come all the way up until it gets close to that head shape. Okay. So on this one, I need to make sure there's room well, let me just start it with just the pen, pencil. Um, add the little beak here, okay? So I can start with sort of a rounded triangle like that um, and add two little bumps to make it look 3D. Or if you wanna keep it simple, you can just make a triangle shape. All right, that part, again, there's different ways that you can draw the beak. And then of course, the eyes. So you can draw big cartoon eyes. Or you can draw just simple little dot eyes. And again, this is your penguin drawing. So a penguin is sort of a unique bird in that a penguin cannot fly. A penguin uses its wings for swimming. All right, so the wings look more like flippers. Okay, so they can be going down, or you can lift them up a little bit like this. That one's a little bit too pointy. Fix that. Okay, there's a curving outward wing. <laughs> And then if you want to, you can add a little bit of a heart shape around the face, um, like you see kind of over here, or you can just leave it all black, or you can do something like you see here, okay? So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna change this one a little bit because it looks, that line I drew with the eyes is, just a little too much going on there. I am going to make these eyes a little bit smaller than I had them. That way I can add that little shape. Okay, so now our penguin is going to need some feet. So down at the bottom, I'm gonna make a little bumpy shape here. 
two little bumpy shapes. Penguins don't have very long legs. Their bodies are sort of short and round. So they need to conserve energy. So they have a lot of fat on their body because it helps keep them warm. All right, so I've got these two silly little penguins here. I'm gonna, since I made the other one's eyes smaller, I'm gonna make this one's eyes a little bit bigger. So again, you can adjust your penguin. You'll notice on the right over here, these penguins have um, some hats and bows and things like that. So if you want it to give your penguin a little hat, let's give this penguin a hat just to make it more interesting. Now, real penguins don't wear hats, but this is a cartoon penguin, so we can give it a hat. All right, so now we've got our penguins, and then the next thing we wanna do is maybe give them a background. So penguins live where it's really, really cold. There's lots of ice and snow. We could add some snowflakes. So I'm just gonna lift this here, and let's talk about snowflakes. So the easiest way to draw a snowflake would be to just make a little dot. All right, so we can add some snow that way. Now, if you wanna get a little fancier, you can make an X shape, like the letter X, and then draw a line through the middle, cutting it in half. Or if you wanna get even fancy, you can make that X shape, draw a line through the middle, and then add some little shapes at the end. So they might be circles, Arrow shape. Arrows go both ways, just like an arrow in and an arrow out. All right. So you can sort of decorate that shape and make it as simple uh, as you like with just little dots, little clumps of snow, or individual flakes. Now, I want these penguins to be kind of having some more background besides snowflakes. So I am going to add an iceberg. So I'm going to start over here, put these two penguins on a big iceberg. All right, so I'm just drawing a shape. I'm starting with this penguin and wrapping around. Now you might only have one penguin, or you might just want to do what's called the horizon line. Just draw a little line here. Stop when you touch the penguin, come all the way out like that. Or you might want to draw some mountains or icebergs in the distance. Okay, and again, it's up to you. So again, some of these little cartoon ones like this one right here, looks like it's wearing ice skates, so you can make it look like they're ice skating. And then of course, when you're done, you can color it in. So I'm gonna add some blue here. Kind of looks like water. And I'm going to add some blue in the sky as well. And of course, I need to slow down when I get to my penguins. I'm going to add clouds in there since it's snowing. There would definitely be some clouds. iceberg and they're not stuck because remember penguins can swim so you can just jump in that water and swim and go somewhere else if they wanted to and let's see I'm gonna get some black and I'm gonna color in my penguins with some black Jamboard, so uh, there's different tools that I can use to color it in. This one's the paintbrush tool. It just goes a little faster than uh, the pen as far as coloring things, but if 
you're using pencil and paper, uh, you might want to use crayons or colored pencils or markers. Pretty much whatever you have around that you want to use, you can, you can use. I'm going to mix my yellow and my red to make sort of an orange color there. And just for fun, I'm going to give this one some little pink cheeks. Penguins don't actually have pink cheeks, but I think they're pretty nice. So that's what I'm going to do. You're the artist. So you can decide how realistic or cartoony you want your penguin to be. I'm going to give this one a green hat. have to have a hat. You might have a bow. You might have earmuffs. Or nothing on the head because real penguins don't wear clothes or hats or scarves or anything like that. So I hope you enjoyed drawing the penguin. Keep adding the details that you would like to see uh, with your penguin. If you want, you can add a nest with eggs you can add some baby penguins. You can add some other uh, things that you might see out in the snow. Uh, you can add a fish in the water. So it's up to your imagination, whatever you think might be out there uh, with the penguins. And again, notice there's more than one way to draw a penguin. Um, but I hope you had fun and enjoyed drawing your penguins. See you next time. Bye.